It's Thursday, November 7th. You're listening to your Florida Daily. I'm Katrina Scales. Seven states in the U.S. have approved measures to protect or expand abortion rights, but Florida is not one of them. Voters have been asked to weigh in on Amendment 4, which would have protected a woman's right to an abortion up to the point of viability. Supporters had said it would bring back protections lost when Roe v. Wade was overturned. But after reaching just over 57 percent of the vote, Amendment 4 failed, meaning Florida's six-week abortion restriction will remain in place. It needed 60 percent support to pass. Democrats had hoped the issue would help galvanize voters to their side of this election. Vice President Kamala Harris leaned into the issue throughout her campaign, appealing to women across party lines. It even came up during her concession speech last night. I will never give up the fight for a future where Americans can pursue their dreams, ambitions, and aspirations where the women of America have the freedom to make decisions about their own body and not have their government telling them what to do. But momentum around the issue did not appear as strong this year as exit polls suggested abortion ranked below topics such as the economy and democracy. The company behind Florida's recreational marijuana amendment says it's not done fighting to expand access to the drug. True Leaf spent over $140 million to support Amendment 3, which would have legalized recreational marijuana use. But it came short of getting that 60 percent needed to pass. Now the company's CEO says she hopes to work with lawmakers to make changes. Here's Kim Rivers, the CEO of True Leaf. Folks care about this issue. Millions of Floridians signed this, the petition. Another, you know, almost 6 million Floridians showed up at the polls. And uh, we have an opportunity to, again, um, make some real change and some forward progress. At this point, though, it's not known if that will happen since Governor DeSantis came out strongly against the amendment. And Tupperware is laying off dozens of workers after announcing the closure of its headquarters in central Florida. The facility off of Orange Blossom Trail in Osceola County had been open for nearly eight decades. Tupperware says it's letting go of 145 people before the end of the year as the bankrupt company looks for a buyer. You can find these top stories along with breaking news, weather, and traffic all day on ClickOrlando.com. And now, a completely random Florida fact. One of the most famous political speeches in history was actually made from Disney World. It was November of 1973 when President Richard Nixon gave his famous I am not a crook speech from the ballroom of the Contemporary Resort. Nixon was addressing questions about the Watergate scandal during an annual convention of managing editors from the Associated Press. He would resign from office less than a year later. Your Florida Daily is produced by News 6, WKMG in Orlando. I'm Katrina Scales. Subscribe for new episodes wherever you like to listen.